Hi, this is Alex from PHP Academy, back with another tutorial for the new Boston. Now, in this video tutorial, we're going to be looking at the function in PHP, strpos. Now, strpos stands for string position, so we've got string here, position. And what this function does is it takes three arguments, two are required. The first argument is the string that we want to search in. The second argument is the keyword or character that we want to find within the string. And um, the last uh, and not an, an optional offset, um, optional argument is the offset. And the offset, offset is where to start. Uh, from the from within the string that you're searching so uh, by default this will be zero because we know that arrays or um, positions start at zero and then increment from there so let's say we have uh, a string here now I'm going to include a couple of keywords in this string that we might want to search for so for example uh, it could be this is um, a string and it is an example now I've included two specific keywords, I've included or words rather, is here and is here. So eventually in this tutorial we're going to come up with a way where we can loop through each character of here as an offset um, and we can search um, we can search through this string for the position of each of each uh, word. So let's go ahead and we'll test this function first of all to see if we're uh, achieving the results that we want. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about how we can loop to find um, a few uh, different words inside. So you'll actually notice that we've got is here, so it's, it is within this. We've got is here and we've also got is here. So we've got three instances of the word is. So I'm just going to put that into a variable called find up here for now. So we can use that later on. Um, we're also going to need the length of uh, find, but I'll tell you why uh, a bit later. So we need to say find length, and that is equal to the string length. So we're bringing in our string, our str len function of find. So let's test this string position function. So the first argument we need is the string itself, which is this value here. The second we need is the word to find, and that is is, so we can just pop that variable straight into there. The third is the offset, which is by default by zero, so we don't need to include this just yet. So now what we can do is we can echo out the value of this. So let's come into our browser and refresh, and you can see that we've been given the value two. Now what's happened to, right, let's check, so we've got one, two, and then that's the start of where this word is. So that's fair enough. but what about this this is here and this is here it's only going to return the first instance found after that it's not going to return every single position so we we need to find a way to loop somehow and find this one and return the position this one and return the position and this one and return the position so for example if i was set to set the offset to let's say 1 2 3 4 to 4 um actually no zero one two three yeah three then you'll find that um, we will return this position here which I think should be five so yeah we've returned five and if we start the search say after this is here so let's say a ten we get a value of twenty five which is the start of this is here so you can see that we can use our offset to our advantage in a loop then once we found this first is, um, let's say we found this at position 2 here, so it's 0, 1, 2, we found this at position 2, then we can say, well now I want to start searching two characters after this, and we start the search from where my, my uh, correct is at the moment, so here. Then once we found a position here, we say, well, I want to search two characters after this, and then we 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 carry on the list. So we need to uh, we need to uh, create a loop to do this. Um, so we've seen how string position works. Um, let's get rid of that for now. So what we need to do is we need to create a while loop, and we'll create the block there. Now the essence, uh, the overall idea of this is that we're gonna we're gonna search while we're continually finding this string. 
So as long as the string is found, we're going to carry on searching. And when it's not found, we can break the loop. This is why how our while loop is now coming into use. So inside while, I'm going to create a new variable. And that's going to be called um, string position. And this is going to be equal to, so remember we can assign variables uh, values inside of our while loop, so we're constantly reassigning this string position value. That's going to be equal to string pos. Now we're going to set it up exactly the same as before. So our first is the string, the string we're searching in. The second is the word to find. Thirdly, I'm going to create this variable, which I haven't set a value to yet, called offset. Now the reason why I'm creating this is because now when we do find a string inside here, we need to add two to the offset because we need to add, uh, this is two characters long. And that's why I created this find length here. So in actual fact, find length will be equal to two. So whatever we change this to here, we're always going to be always updating our search because we've used functions to keep up with this. So we're looking for is inside string with a particular offset. Let's just give the offset here a value of zero before we begin anything. 